All right, so now that we've looked at all the failing modes of the connection as well as the main plate itself, um, we can now compare all the capacity of each failure mode in order to determine which one is the most critical or lowest. Alright, so now looking at the main plate first, when we looked at it in tension, the capacity was found to be 1125 kN. And that should be for... Uh, yield. Uh, for ply bearing, we found it to be 369 kN per bolt per ply. So we have to times it by 4 because we have 4 bolts. And that should give you 1476 kN. And for our connections, we'll look at our uh, intention. It's 936 kN uh, for yielding. For ply bearing. We're going to have two splice plates, and we're going to have four bolts and then times it by 148, which is the design capacity yeah, for ply bearing, and that should give you 1184 kilonewtons. For our bolt and shear, it's 222 kilonewtons. So if we go down to 222, and this is times by four. And that should give you 888 kilometers. And the reason we times it by four rather than eight, so even though you see two sort of sets of bolt holes around that, only one set is resisting.